Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? Cousin Curtis here and as you can see, my room is cleaned up, I'm packed up and I'm ready to leave Telluride and get back to Denver. <laughs> see, teleporting's not that hard. All I did was Google it and Google says, well, if you, uh, you know, if you want to teleport, all you're going to need is an idea of where you want to go and an egg. So, got an egg and I've got an idea. Let's go back to Telluride, shall we? <gasps> It's wild. Back again. <laughs> Let's go again. No more. Back again. <laughs> Hit it. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Cousin Curtis. I'm really glad you're here. This is my 10th vlog and I wanted to take some time to explain why it is I started vlogging in the first place. And truth be told, I started vlogging in the first place because I just started watching them. It's something that I never thought that I'd want to get into, but one of the first vlogs that I started watching on a regular basis to the point where it was like, did they post a new vlog today? Did they post another one today? It was the man himself, Casey Neistat, who I know a lot of different vloggers look up to. From watching all of his vlogs, I was exposed then to Peter McKinnon's vlogs and then after watching Peter McKinnon's channel I started to watch his buddy Maddie's channel Sarah Dietschy rhymes with peachy MKBHD let's take a step back here so first things first I got roped into Casey Neistat's vlog because he travels constantly he flies all around the world he's been everywhere he has incredible adventures he's very engaging and all of those things I want to achieve I travel the world I want to fly around I want to get paid for it I want somebody else to pay me to travel the world that's what I want and then that led me to watching Peter McKinnon's channel who gets into the nitty-gritty of how to use this thing how to do multiple different camera angle edits really easily also his character is genuine I feel like if I hung out with him on any given day we'd be friends right off the bat uh, he's very engaging in that way that led me to Sarah Dietschy's channel which led me to MKBHD's channel those two folks do a ton almost exclusively tech reviews and side-by-side -side comparisons which are huge right now in the YouTube community. And speaking of the YouTube community, I laughed the first time that I heard YouTube community. I was like, what is this? Like this, this is a joke. Well, I'm way off. I started to realize that a lot of them are connected within each other's vlog channels. They do episodes together. They hang out at YouTube headquarters. They go speak at different conventions and colleges and schools, etc., etc. And that was something else that I wanted to do. But the struggle with me, I didn't know what I could bring to the table. If there's one thing that I've learned from Mr. Casey Neistat is that you have to have your own original story and there's no point in trying to you know push your own channel your own agenda if you're just gonna be copying what somebody else is doing how can I add something some originality to this YouTube community that's when I started to think of my life and how everything everything that I do is music centric if I'm traveling it's because of music if I'm meeting new people it's because I'm playing music for them if I'm having an adventure it's because I have a downtime from playing music that I can now adventure so that's something new and original that I can bring to this YouTube community how do I start? I was like, well, I got a camera, I got a GoPro, I can make this work. Perfect, no problem. I think it's important too to note that I am sitting in front of two cameras. <laughs> talking to them, hoping that someone listens. Like, that's not really normal. And it's also difficult because I don't have a whole lot of subscribers right now. So the people that I mentioned prior to, they have hundreds of thousands upon millions upon millions of subscribers. I have like, what, 380 something? I'm not necessarily doing this for the views or the subscriptions. I'm doing this because every video that I create is a timestamp of what's going on in my life 
at this very moment. And that's something that I can always go back and watch. I can show friends and family and people can go back to episode one and see me freezing in Telluride trying to create my first vlog while the wind is howling and it's snowing and I'm trying to clone myself and I can't feel my fingers. They can watch what that video was like and then move forward with me all the way to the present wherever that may be while however long this vlog continues to go. Thanks for hanging out with me while I took a little time to explain why it is I'm vlogging, what my aspirations are, where I could see this going and where I hope it ends up. And that's all I've got for you today. If you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button. If you like this video, Give it the old thumbs up, and uh, I'll see y'all soon. Cheers. Peter McKinnon outro. Shoot. Let's go back to Telluride, shall we? I didn't crack. Oh, it did. <laughs> Tiniest little crack in there. Mm. <laughs>